Hey guys, what up? Mike here, Laker Talk. I want to talk about Brandon Ingram and Lou Aldang. Um, article. A lot of people are reacting to an article um, where Luke Walton says that he's going to start Lou Aldang over Brandon Ingram. This is not really surprising. If you watched any of my videos, I actually, uh, one of my last videos, I went through the roster and I kind of touched on the depth chart and I actually talked about Lou Aldang is definitely going to start over Brandon Ingram. He's not ready yet. Um, this is not surprising at all. Some people are probably thinking that maybe because he was the number two pick, he should start. Uh, no, not when you sign Lou Aldang to a four-year, $72 million deal. Um, and also, when you look at the personality type, Brandon Ingram is not that alpha male type that he's ready to start right now. He's young. He needs some months. He needs a few weeks. He needs to kind of get his feet wet, so to speak. He's light in the wallet. He's he's young, and when you when you have a guy like Lou Aldang, who is a what 12 year veteran right now, um, he's ready to go. Um, and you need to mix your team up with veterans and young guys in order to succeed right away. When you know right off the tip, uh, Lou Aldang knows his spots. He knows um, you know he's been in the league for 12 years, right? He's a seasoned veteran. He knows where to go. He there's no learning curve for him. He can you know from from jump ball right he knows his he knows where to be on the floor and he knows how to get his shot off he knows what he needs to do to be productive and valuable on the floor brandon ingram on the other hand is not that alpha male type personality he is at best a number two player um, now i'll talk about his skill set in a second he it far surpasses from a uh you know from his upside standpoint and his ceiling far surpasses what Lou Aldang could ever provide. So Brandon Ingram is going to be a better player than Lou Aldang ever was by far. But right now, as it stands, he's not ready yet. At 19 years old, just turned 19, um, Brandon Ingram is a type of player to, he needs he needs to, take. he actually mentally, he, he takes a back seat. He's good. But he takes a back seat. He's not that guy who's going to be your number one star on the team. Take take uh, Duke, for example. Um, you know, great Grayson Allen was the guy that he kind of took a back seat to um, that led Duke. Um, and Grayson Allen will never be close to what Brandon Ingram is as a talent, right? But you take someone like Carmelo Anthony when he played at Clemson. Um, no, he played at Syracuse. He was that he's the alpha male type, right? So he has that alpha male personality. Um, Brandon Ingram is not that guy. Now, from a skill set, a skill set standpoint, Brandon Ingram, Lou Aldang was nowhere close to what Brandon Ingram is as a player, skill set wise, and um, his upside and his ceiling, right? Um, Brandon Ingram is silky smooth. A longer wingspan um, he can do more with the ball he has better footwork um, he has a natural better three-point shot and he has he, he takes more three-pointers than Lou Aldang does but and so when you when you see that when Brandon Ingram becomes um, well adapted to the NBA game and the length of the season and things like that he's going to flourish as a three um, and become the starter at some point. Now, I always like to say, don't even trip on the fact that he's not starting. Kobe Bryant, as a young puppy, didn't start, right? He had Eddie, jo Eddie, Eddie Jones um, playing in front of him, which taught him how to play defense and how to be a season, you know, a nice two uh, in the NBA. And I think that's when you have somebody like Luol Deng who is still 31, he still has, a, a, you know, I think a good two and a half years left in him in terms of being very, very, very productive. Um, definitely this year, he's ready to go, new team. You put Lou Aldang at the starting three, bring him off the, bring, um, you know, Brandon Ingram off the bench right away and give Brandon Ingram a lot of minutes. So Brandon Ingram's gonna definitely get a lot of minutes and after the All-Star break, you're gonna see that it's gonna start change. You're gonna see Brandon Ingram become more and get more minutes in and eventually start at some point. Um, so it's not surprising. Um, I, it shouldn't be surprising to anyone of you out there. Um, Lou Aldang was signed. Um, he's, a, a, you know, he, he, he's a seasoned three. He knows what he's doing. 
and you're not going to sign a guy like that to bring him off the bench right away. You're going to bring your future star off the bench and have him learn from Luol Deng initially. That's my thoughts. Hit me up in the comments below what you're thinking. Um, thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And as always, follow me on Twitter at MikeSportsLA. We'll talk soon. Peace.